Hey, what's up guys? Coach Austin here to talk about the dumbbell row. So the variation we're going to talk about today is mainly just a general upper back row. So when looking to set this up, a nice bench or even leaning over, uh, over like a rack or something like that, or even a sturdy piece of equipment can do. So in terms of getting yourself set up here, I like to be in a position where I have the opposite knee on the bench. I have this in a good, comfortable, sturdy position beside the bench. So you don't want this knee to be too far forward because as you row, you could run into your leg. And then you don't want it too far back because you can just be in an awkward, unstable position and put your core at jeopardy, your low back at jeopardy, and just be in a vulnerable position altogether. So to be in a good, sturdy position. And the thing about the upper back row, just generally for upper back, uh, with the dumbbell here is we're just going to be in a really good position so we want to create a nice stable base nice stable core engage those abs flat back and then we're really just thinking about rowing up okay so there's not much else we're looking to do here other than just row up so we're looking to drive start the movement by kind of have the intent of almost start to retract Drive that arm up, drive that arm up, just like that. There are a few different ways that you can start to bias this movement. So if you want to bias this, bias this a little bit more to the upper back, you can sort of pronate your hand here and start to drive your elbow out and back and up. Okay, so again, driving that elbow out and driving that dumbbell up. And what that's gonna do is just kind of bias those upper back fibers a little bit more. Now, if you wanna bias those rear delt fibers a little bit more, then we want the elbow more at that 45 degree angle that are lining up with those rear delt fibers. So again, that lines up a little bit more just kind of with that general row. So here again, just looking to start that retraction, drive that elbow up and finish the row. So again, Few different options there for the dumbbell row. One, just a general row uh, for upper back and rear delts. And then you can start to bias things where they're looking to pronate your hand or have a little bit more neutral grip approach and bias that rear delt. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys are interested in coaching, reading an article, or watching another video, check us out, physiquedevelopment.com.